good morning. I am in another tree. This is quite impromptu and my tripod's not working, hence I'm holding the camera. But tomorrow I am swimming in nationals and I'll be heading there after training this afternoon. It's my final swimming session ever as a competitive swimmer. And I just felt like coming out here and talking about it this morning. I don't know if I'm just in denial, but it doesn't feel super, super final because I will still be swimming in my life. I think I'm going to do some triathlons or do some ocean swimming. For those who don't know, this is my second time round in the sport. I first swam competitively until I was about 17 and then abruptly stopped. I got really sick and then didn't touch a chlorinated pool for six, six years, six and a half years. And then when I went to an adult squad session with my friend, I immediately felt like I was home. And so then I jumped back in the water and that was about three years ago now. And um, I've been pursuing competitive swimming again ever since and it's been a complete roller coaster of a journey. There's been a lot of factors that I've had to deal with that I didn't think I'd have to and things that were completely out of my control that I had to just ride those waves. To be honest, I haven't achieved everything that I wanted to in the sport, but I've also achieved so much more than I would have if I didn't give it a go. And the biggest thing I now have is a sense of peace and contentment. I know my limits and I know myself so much more. This second time around, I am choosing when to stop rather than being forced out of the sport. And I have been trying to make sure I enjoy these past few weeks and months and days, really. Each session I know is a blessing. So it's definitely bittersweet because I feel really sad to let this go because I love it so much. And it is within my comfort zone now and I think I'll always find home in the water. But it's also quite a big weight off me and opens up so many new doors and so many new opportunities that I feel really ready for and excited to explore and at this point, finishing swimming is a net positive rather than negative. So I think that it's definitely the right time to stop. I'm going to have a bit of a break from exercise or from in really intense exercise in general. I'll still like go on walks and do some yoga and everything, but my body needs a rest. And so that's what I'm gonna give it. I'm excited. I'm getting like little waves of nerves to compete. There's still a part of me that feels like it's not real, that this is my last competition. But again, I feel ready for it. It feels like the right time. One of the reasons I wanted to get back into the sport was because I wanted to finish on my terms. I am notoriously not great at closing chapters myself. I kind of extend things for longer than I should because I don't want to say goodbye. I don't like goodbyes. I I'm scared of missing out on something or finishing too soon. I don't like inflicting sadness upon myself. I think that's it. Where if I finish something when I still absolutely love it, it's really sad. And I do also look at things like, well, how lucky am I to have something that I'm so sad to leave? But I also don't wanna end up hating it. I don't want to yeah, never get back in the pool again. I don't want to look back on this time and have it be tainted by me staying in it for too long. And I feel that this is a really good opportunity for me to practice learning this lesson. I want to try to teach myself this lesson of finishing things when, the right, when it's the right time to lovingly saying goodbye, not being so scared of goodbyes. Because not everything in your life will be in your life forever. It can't be. We grow so much and change and evolve. And if everything was the same, we would never grow. We would be stuck in this weird paralyzed state. We'd never welcome you in. We'd be so closed off to the world and we'd be so stagnant. And if I genuinely do want growth in my life and I want new opportunities and I want to explore other things, 
not just staying the same, that I have to be okay with change. And I have to welcome it and I can still be sad and I still want to pursue. I want to go through my life where if I am sad every time I have to close a chapter, I think that's a sign of a really successful life and that's kind of the way I want to live because I want to be so lucky and intentional about my life that I'm doing things that are meaningful to me, that mean I get sad when it's time to say goodbye. And it's just a muscle that I have to practice using. I'll get better at it the more I do it. When I try to think about what swimming has given me, I get overwhelmed with like, feelings and <sighs> this sport has given me so much. It's taught me that I'm so much stronger than I think I am, that I am capable of getting through a lot more than I think I can. It's taught me discipline, motivation, passion, sacrifice, what you can do when you pursue one specific goal and work towards it and give everything to it, both the good and the bad of that, you know, the success and achievement within knuckling down, going all in with something, but then also the burnout that inevitably comes with that. And I've been burnt by the sport many times. And I've burnt, like, well, I don't even know if I can say I've been burnt by the sport. I've been, I burnt myself out many times. And there's a lot that I can learn from that. And there's a lot that I'm trying to learn from that. But it's taught me community, my competitive side, it's really gotten me in touch with my masculine side so much. And I've probably spent most of my life living in, not probably, I definitely have spent most of my life living in that masculine energy more than I have my feminine. It's taught me how to deal with nerves somewhat. I'm still not uh, super great at it, but it's taught me that nerves are a good thing. It means that I care and how to use them, how to embrace them, it's taught me how to keep myself calm under pressure, again, somewhat. <laughs> I don't think it comes super naturally to me. It's showed me that I can and will always feel at home in the water, wherever that may be, and that I always have somewhere to go and something that I can rely on. And part of that is the body of water, but part of that's also myself. It's taught me how to deal with pain heartbreak, suffering, and not just suffering, well, suffering through a training session, but suffering emotionally, spiritually, men mentally. It's a brutal sport. It's a brutal endeavor. Elite competitive sport is completely brutal and heartbreaking at times, but also a high like nothing else you can ever experience. And after being forced out of the sport, initially when I was 17 or 16 and had no other identity other than that I was a competitive swimmer. Being forced to grapple with that, go through so much heartbreak and pain and suffering and just crisis. It taught me to build another identity for myself and see myself as a rounded individual. To not just see the one facet of myself, of myself to see that I am a friend, a good person, someone who loves being out active, outdoors, loves the beach, loves the water, sensitive, creative, disciplined, hardworking, motivated, passionate, something so much more than just a swimmer. And so when I came back to the sport, I was already a full person and I just got to pursue a passion and utilize those attributes and channel them into something that I loved. And now leaving the sport while I'm sad this second time around, I'm leaving it with my head held high, knowing that I really did give it my everything, which was part of the problem. But I really, really can honestly say that I gave it everything, which is more than I could ever ask for from myself. And knowing that no matter what I pursue next, I'll be okay. Whether I'm a competitive swimmer or not, it doesn't define me. Nothing that I do defines me. I'm just me. And that's such a relief. 
and I can pursue anything that I want to because it's just me pursuing it and I can pursue it in any way that I want to. I can be like a 22 year old coming back into the sport when most people retired years ago. It doesn't matter because I'm doing my own path. And I remember thinking to myself those three or so years ago, I'm 25 now, but when the Olympic games are on this year, I'm gonna be 26. And I remember thinking in you know, three and a half years time, I'm gonna be 26 when the Paris games come around no matter what. I can either be a 26 year old who will always wonder what if and think what would my life be like if I had given swimming another crack and giving it, given it my everything and where would I be? Or I could be a 26 year old that gave it everything no matter what happens and was so proud of herself no matter where she found herself when those games are on. And I can honestly say that I chose the right path. If there is a right path, which I think there is, and I'm sad about leaving, but looking back on how I attacked and pursued this goal, I couldn't be prouder, I couldn't be happier, and I, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful to everyone that helped me. It's a team of people, but then also myself, because I'm the one driving it all. And so I'm so grateful for the opportunity presenting itself, for everyone that helped me, and for me just grabbing the opportunity with every fiber of my being and running with it or swimming with it. When you're passionate about something in this life, it is a beautiful and brutal thing and it's worth pursuing. I'm gonna climb down from this tree in a minute. I'll stay up here for a little bit because it's so beautiful and I'll go home, pack, do a bit of work and head to the pool of Savo and do my last training session as the sun sets and make my way to my last competition, my last nationals. And then welcome the excitement, the curiosity, this <laughs> scary prospect of not really, not fully knowing what's next, but knowing that if I don't know what's next, then it could be anything, which is cool. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And if, when I was talking about swimming and how it makes me feel, if there's something in your life that you have that makes you feel a similar way, fucking go after it. You are absolutely worth it. And it is way too good of an opportunity to pass up. You absolutely will not regret it. See ya.